All right, so got PS5 Pro versus PS5 gameplay comparisons. Got the video I was going to make. Here's The Last of Us Part 2 running on PS5 Pro. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Okay. Let's compare this oh, yeah. to the Fidelity mode on Fidelity, PS5, yeah. which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much chockier. So the PS5 Pro got both Fidelity and a uh, performance. This goal of delivering almost Fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rates has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2. I can definitely, I, I can see the difference. And Ratchet and Clank. I can, I can see the difference. I can, can I can see, see it. PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. Yeah, I can see it, bro. It, it, Another you gotta look close enough to see like the difference though a little bit. I can't lie to you. Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is a difference. Oh yeah, you could see it. PS5 look Pro at the grass. Is much sharper and crisper than PS5. Yeah, yep, yeah, I see it. I see it. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. Here's the thing, right? Let me tell you something about this, right? With the PS5 Pro and of course, I know the prices are absolutely ridiculous. I know, I understand, you know, not everybody's Bill Gates. But um, I would say this, though. The PS5 Pro, bro, it, it is obviously PlayStation's, like, most powerful console. Um, One thing that I would say is, bro, for it being $700, now listen, I, again, not everybody is Bill Gates. But at the same time, I see why it is high, uh, high price. I was expecting this to be, like, $600, though. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I was expecting this to be like $599 off the bat. That's what I was expecting because I believe the PlayStation 4 Pro was uh, $500, I think. I think it was $499. So I was like, yeah, you know, PS5, PS, you know, it's, it's, it's the, like the, it's the newest console. I'm expecting something crazy like $600. And if I'm being honest with you, I feel like, yeah, people would, like would have complained about it. But then I'm like, you know what, bro, it's a PS5, you know, and like. The original PS5 came out, and I think that was like what five hundred dollars. And then obviously, like you know, some places, bro, some places was selling the the, the the PS5 for a rack. Bro, I knew somebody that bought the PS5 for a rack. It was crazy. So, um, you know, to to actually have the PS5 Pro be you know um uh, seven hundred dollars, bro. Uh, to be honest, I, I wouldn't say that it's worth the money. Just wait a little bit. Just wait. Just wait. Don't buy it the first week or whatever. And Sony, I'm not telling people like to not buy the console or whatever. I'm just saying, um, just wait. You know, you don't have to buy it. Like, especially if you already have a PS5, bro, just wait a little bit. And then, like, you know, I'm pretty sure, like, oh, bro, Black Friday is coming through. You might get a sale. You might get a deal with somebody. So, I, I, I'm waiting. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to wait. And I'm going to definitely wait for mine. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher I'm resolution. I'm listen, I'm not the buying this on the first day. The You're drunk. And procedural cars. Drunk in love like Beyonce. <laughs> what are you so talking overall, about? Overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is the big three. Okay. One more thing. I know I'm pausing a lot. My bad. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, we got the large GPU. Uh, sorry, larger GPU, advanced ray tracing. Now, all these things are very important because you know why? Um, these things are basically, you can have... Yo, is that my phone doing that? Okay. Give me one second. My alarm, my alarm. Give me one second. So basically, right? So basically, with the PS5 Pro, you instead of having to choose or instead of, ha instead of having to, like, you know, decide whether, oh, okay, you know what? Should I just have performance or should I just have... Uh, quality or whatever with the ps5 pro you can have both so if i'm being honest with you that's definitely a w Def that major w showing their value as you've been seeing machine learning via the pssr library is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate but there are as many approaches as there are game engines the increase in raw gpu power is being especially effective for horizon forbidden west Apart from the detail boost, that extra graphics power is allowing for this game looks beautiful, to lighting bro. and visual effects. As well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. Ray tracing is finding broad usage as well. Particularly when the games are focused on higher frame rates, the faster hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference. 
allowing Gran Turismo 7 to add ray traced reflections between the cars Corvette, in Corvette. while continuing to support their targeted 60 frames per second. That boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. Man, this game is a little crazy. Better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. I hope you've enjoyed this run through of the technology behind PlayStation 5 Pro. Simply put, it's the most powerful console we've ever built and a worthy addition to the PS5 family. Let me wrap this up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. Man. Now listen. I've already uh I've already seen like this like little uh thing before. I've I've actually seen it earlier today. I'm so mad. Obviously they show Spider-Man, so of course I have a Spider-Man. I'm so mad, bro. We're not having God of War on here, bro. I don't think not yet. We got uh, Final Fantasy. I haven't seen God of War yet. I'm kind of sour. I'm sour like a lemon. Um, I really want. Uh, I really want God of War on a uh, PS5 Pro. That would be hard. That would be so hard. It'd be crazy. No Ratchet and Clank. Okay. This is uh, Alan Wake. Alan Wake Two. Man, this game's gonna be absolutely hard. Assassin's Creed Shadows, that's coming out next, uh, I almost said next one, it's coming out in November. I can't wait for that uh, to come out. Hogwarts Legacy, yes sir. En serio. Whoa, was that a McLaren right there? I turned it down because like there's like music and stuff like that. You might be able to still hear it. Yeah. Yeah. And this, I'm going to be honest with you. And in reality, right? And, and you know, th this is just like, like, the, like, this is just like how it is. The, the, the entire, I don't want to say the entire focus was on like the price or whatever. Obviously, like the price was like the shock value thing. Like that was the thing that everybody was talking about. But I still think that this is still like a really good console because of like the actual technical like thing behind it, which is like it has like more CPU. Um, we don't have to fight over quality versus performance. We can just have both now. Um, I actually do like the way this looks. It's very simple. It looks like it, it looks. It looks like it, it lost a little bit of weight. I like that a lot. Um, I do like the like the whole uh, three three stripes or whatever, just like how the um, PlayStation Four Pro had like the three steps or like the three bricks or like the three whatever you want to call it. Uh, I call it like the three center blocks, but it is what it is. But yeah, this was definitely the uh, the shock value right here, six ninety nine. This, man, this blew everybody away. And if I'm being honest with you, um, I was uh, listen, I was expecting a high price. I was expecting seven hundred dollars. I was listen, I was expecting five ninety nine. I was expecting six hundred dollars. I was like, you know what? The PlayStation 5 was $500, um, you know, and then, like, there's no way, like, like, I, like, here's the thing. I wasn't expecting anything, like, 800 or, like, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting anything outlandish, but then, like, you know, they, they show, they show, uh, you know, 699 and I was like, okay, that's a little bit outlandish, so, so that definitely proved me wrong, and then, right, and then, I, I can't believe, bro, I learned this later that day, bro, the actual disc tray, the disc tray. This is brother. This is the dig, uh, the digital version. Yeah, this is di this is like the digital. This this is like the like the actual. Di this isn't the physical. Like you know, you put the disc in the. No no. This is like you only can download games at the Play Store. Uh, if you have like an actual like disc or whatever. Yeah, brother, you can't put these in here. Are you are you uh you lost for you, you lost like what's going on? No, you can't put that in there. Yeah, it has no slot. You have to buy the slot. Yeah, sold separately. Yeah, just like with like whenever like you uh like your mom used to buy you toys back then, like whenever you were little, and then like they required batteries, and, like the batteries were sold separately. Yeah, you gotta go to Family Dollar and get some batteries. Yep, gotta eat, bro. And then you know what else is sold separately? The stand. You're not getting that either. <laughs> you're not getting. Listen, you're not getting the disc or the stand. You listen, buy those things sold separately, or you can let that thing balance. Uh, on, on a tightrope and, and, and download games on, a, on like on, on the Play Store. That's what you can do. Uh, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about like the prices, um, like the technical aspect around it? 
Um, I can see the difference in gameplay. I can. I can. Um, it, it's mainly like, um, and, and you know, of course, like PS5 graphics are really good. Um, but it's mainly like a frames thing, which I, obviously, bro, frames are really important, especially like in multiplayer games. You know, um, if you like, if you ever play, um, let's say for example, Call of Duty Warzone. If you ever played Call of Duty Warzone uh, on a PS5, obviously, you know, you have the 120 frames, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, because if you look at uh, PS4, they only have 60 frames. You know, so if you look at uh, the PS5 with the 120 frames, you're thinking, okay, well, you know, I got a big advantage over. You know other playstation character i say characters playstation uh for you know users or whatever or stuff like that but then like when you have the playstation 5 pro you can have the game look absolutely amazing and you can have the frame rate as well so you don't have to fight over like cause, because in reality bro whenever like you load up a game for the ps5 and i'm talking about the right like the regular ps5 and you go into settings and like you know you're mi mixing settings and stuff like that most people uh, are choosing performance mode uh, because you know they want the game because like the game already looks good enough. Um, obviously, you know to certain people they want the game look, to look absolutely perfect, so they might put it on a fidelity mode. But um, but now you know with the PS4, PS5 Pro, you don't have to do that, bro. You can just have both just in one. Which if I'm being honest with you, that's that's a huge W because that's always been a thing. You know, like the whole quality versus gameplay thing. Um, now you got both. So comment down below, man. If you guys could actually see. The difference in like the PS5 and PS5 Pro um, gameplay, because I, I could definitely see, it, especially like in the frames area. Uh, and uh, comment down below: Are you guys getting? <laughs> are you guys getting the PS5 Pro first week? Because I'm not. Listen, respectfully, Sony, I love you, but I'm not getting this first week. Uh, I would definitely wait till Black Friday, see if I can get a deal or something like that. Uh, if not, don't worry, I can wait. Yeah, don't worry, I can wait. But I'm I'm buying this for the for, for GTA 6 anyway. Like, what do we? Listen, I'm just, I, I got. I got to be honest with you. I'm buying this for GTA 6 anyway, for the first place. So there ain't no rush in me. Comment down below again uh, if you guys are actually picking this up. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll uh, see you guys next time out. And